So far, Volkswagen's electrification efforts have focused on the practical, like the ID3 hatchback and the ID4 crossover, and revivals of icons like the bus, or buzz as it's now called in 2022. But instead of being practical or fun, what if Volkswagen went sexy? Well, you might get something like this, the ID Aero. This is a concept car, and it's going to spawn a four-door liftback sedan that will hit markets in 2023. Now, as the name might suggest, the Aero is about aerodynamics. Look at this shape. It is a slippery 0.23 drag coefficient, which should help it cut through the air and limit wind noise. But there's much more about style here. First of all, the sedan shape. The liftback is the ultimate expression of a sedan. It's the way that they should all be because it's great for cargo capacity and comes at very little expense in the cabin. This vehicle is based on Volkswagen's MEB platform, which means it should be pretty roomy with a nice flat load floor and room for a sizable battery and front and rear electric motors. Let's talk more about the design. There are a lot of interesting elements. If you look at the fascia, it fits in neatly with Volkswagen's other ID products, but there are some neat features like these LED door handles. Now they are not door handles in the classic sense, but they are touch points. You just tap them and the doors pop open. I wouldn't count on that making it. More likely though is this LED turn signal that runs from the front fender into the front door. That is a really cool touch. And another thing that you're gonna see all over this car are honeycomb effects. You can see it in the headlights and the taillights. There's a gorgeous LED strip that spans the rear end and ties together the entire car. The way that this line runs from the fenders into the front end of the car, around to the door handles and around to the back of the car, it's a really neat encircling effect. And it all kind of exists on the same plane. It reminds us a little bit of Genesis, which is very high praise. In a similar vein, you have the lower black portion of the sill around the front clip and around the back clip at the diffuser that ties around the bottom of the car and prevents a lower meteor stance. And of course, helping with that are these 22 inch wheels. Now, Volkswagen is being cagey about where the ID Aero will fit into the broader family. So I can't confirm the rumors that it will replace the Ardeon. But what we do know is that this vehicle will be built at the Emden factory, which is also going to be Europe's home for ID4 production. It's gonna be Volkswagen's electrified factory and it's going to be the home to its first MEB-based electrified sedan. 